Today I want to address the news regarding the sale of Heimers, because I find that many people, for some reason, took this piece of news unusually seriously. Yesterday a number of news channels claimed that certain Ukrainians made a deal with the Russians and sold one Heimers for $880,000. They also noted that negotiations about the sale of its ammunition are still in progress, and that in order to transfer the machine, it was decided to leave one Heimers in a garage somewhere in the grey zone. Ok, let's deconstruct this very interesting piece of news. Firstly, this deal became publicized while it was still allegedly in progress. But such early publicity would risk undermining the deal. So would it be rational to do so if getting the enemy superior technology was really at stake? Secondly, as noted, they're still negotiating about the ammunition. In real life, if you receive an offer to acquire your enemy superior technology for 2 cents, you do not ask to sleep on it. Thirdly, the deal is priced 5 times below the manufacturing costs. In real life, a product is sold below manufacturing costs only if it is damaged or when its value is very low. But does enemy superior technology have low value? Fourthly, Heimers are not getting even close to the gray zone of 5 to 10 kilometers from the front line. No artillery system is just cruising alone on the battlefield, let alone highly valuable Heimers. Heimers are highly protected and move only together with convoys. There are a lot of people involved, including Ukrainian intelligence and foreign specialists. The level of security cannot be underestimated, because the ability of the Ukrainians to effectively use and protect this machinery directly affects the decision of its Western partners to continue helping Ukraine. So I emphasize it again, it is in the interest of the Ukrainians to show performance and security to win over the trust and ensure that there will be more supplies. This means that by undermining its performance and security, you can undermine future supplies of this weaponry. This is why right now we can see exactly that happening. This piece of news undermines its security, but there was also another piece of news, also yesterday, that tried to undermine its performance. Yesterday it was reported by the Ukrainians that Heimer successfully destroyed a military warehouse with ammunition in Novokakhovka, while the Russian sources suggested that it was not ammunition that detonated, but nitrate fertilizers. However, if it were nitrate, it would explode at once, the explosion would be much more potent, and there would be a huge crater afterwards. In the case of Novokakhovka, the explosions continued for almost a day, which suggests that these were secondary detonations of ammunition, and there was also no crater. In wartime, there is always a lot of misinformation, so do not take any information at face value, even what I tell you. Sometimes I am corrected in the comments because I took some information from the wrong source. But when it happens, I also try to update this information in the next report. If you are against this war and want to support the work that I am doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols. You should also know that all products are shipped for free, and on top of that, you can get a 10% discount by using the code STOPWAR. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.